Oh my gosh, what did I do? <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be piercing my nose again. I have tried piercing my nose not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. Literally, I'm like almost to my breaking point, like I'm done. This is the last time I'm going to pierce my nose, and if it doesn't turn out well, then I'm done. All the other times I've tried to pierce my nose, like the placement is like really bad. So the stud ends up not going in all the way. And probably the most annoying thing I had to deal with is going to sleep and then waking up and my nose stud is out of my nose on the bed somewhere. So it's like 3 a.m. in the morning and I wake up and my stud is out of my nose. So I'm freaking out and I'm trying to find it and like use my little phone flashlight. And I'm like half asleep so that doesn't make it any easier. So nine times out of 10, I have to end up getting a new stud and trying to find the hole, my little hole in my nose and putting it back in there. And it's just so annoying. And like, and that has happened to me like every single night. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm taking my stud out and re-piercing it again. And I filmed this video like 50 million times and um, apparently it, it just, just doesn't turn out good. So like I said, this is the last time I'm filming this and this is the last time I'm piercing my nose. So obviously, disclaimer, I am not a professional, obviously, as you can tell by the story I've told you. I pierced my double cartilage piercings before. That turned out okay, but other than that, my nose is like the only face piercing I've done myself. So, you know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So obviously this is not a tutorial, so don't try to watch this video and then be like, oh my gosh, let me just copy every single thing that she did because you're gonna end up in like the same situation I'm currently in right now. Okay, so with me right now, I have some alcohol. I have a piercing marker. I have these 18 gauge sterile needles. And then I have the actual studs and hoops in here. Also some warm salt water. I didn't want to spend like 20 bucks on like the H2O sprays and I had salt at home. So why not just make it from home? Also, if the camera is going out of focus, I'm like really sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna mark where I want my piercing to be. And the first few times I made a mistake of like putting it too high. So I think I'm gonna go a little bit lower. You can literally see where my scab is. It's like this whole dark area right here. <laughs> I feel like this is okay. Another problem I had is the stud kept on like poking out. Like I would sneeze or laugh or like smile or something and my stud would just pop out. <laughs> That's how bad it was. And everything I used to pierce my nose, I got it from Amazon and I will leave the link in the description so you can also um, get it as well if you want to. I'm pretty sure this is not how you open it, but I'm also like pretty bad at being like safe because I've dropped one of these needles like on the ground before and I'm lucky because no one stepped on it, but, but it's fine. No one got hurt. So that's all that matters. <sighs> okay. Actually, I'm going to get my piercing clamp thingies. I'm going to try using this little clamp nose thingy or whatever this is called. I don't know what it's called, but you like put it like where you want to um, pierce something and like stick the needle between it, I think. Oh, this is so gross. It's like going up my nose. All right, I can't hold the needle and this and the mirror at the same time. I'm just gonna have to pierce it from afar. I have a mirror like right in front of me, so I guess I'll just use that one. <sighs> also, before I pierce my nose, a lot of people told me like it doesn't hurt that much to get your nose pierced and then some people told me like it was really painful. And honestly, it just depends on like the person because some people have like a higher pain tolerance and then everyone's bodies are different. So one spot like might hurt more than the other. So it's not like, I mean, you can get like a general idea of how painful it would be, but no one, I don't think anyone can like specifically tell you alone like how bad a piercing is gonna be. Personally for me, this was like probably like a seven out of 10. It was pretty painful, but I got through it. I have a pretty high pain tolerance and that's why I was able to re-pierce it like three times but it was just really annoying and I don't want to do that again so hopefully this is my last time doing it.
I'm just gonna take this out because it's getting pretty annoying. Oh my gosh, oops. Ah. <laughs> I'm bleeding right here because I left the needle like on my skin. Well, I pierced it. There's just like a lot of blood. Yay. I use the hoop because I know the stud will have a better chance of falling out versus like the hoop. This is just so bad. My nose is just covered in blood. Okay, let me just get this cleaned up and then I'll be like right back. Okay, I've been cleaning my nose for the past like 15 minutes and I like the blood is like stuck on my nose. So I'm looking up how to get blood off of your skin. <laughs> no, not period stains, just blood stains off your skin. Mix a solution of mild soap and cool water. Switch to create a great volume of studs. Apply only the foam with a sponge and gentle rub the stain area. I will be back with some soap and water. Okay, so my battery just died, but I just changed it, so I'm back. Got my soapy water and a cloth, or a washcloth, whatever. Oh my gosh, this battery's about to die too. <sighs> okay, my camera's about to die, but I'll be back, and I'll show you the finished product, or I'll show you the results after I clean up all this blood off of my face. Okay, so I cleaned up all the blood, well most of it, and this is what it looks like. And now I know for sure that it's not going to fall out because it's a hoop and not a stud. So yeah, this is it. And a little piece of advice, something I learned is that like next time like I pierce like anything else, I'm going to make sure that my needle is bigger than like two sizes bigger than um, the actual piercing because I would try to pierce the um, whenever I would pierce my nose and try to put like the stud in there or the hoop like it would just fit like it would be a little bit too like small so next time I'm gonna make sure that I get a bigger needle so I can like fit the stud or the hoop inside of the needle if that makes sense and it also it's good to um, have a bigger hole in your wherever you're piercing it so like the stud or like the hoop has like a, a bigger spot to heal in if that makes sense like the hole is bigger so it can like heal I guess it has more room to heal all right so thanks for watching but I'm super happy like the way it turned out it's like so pretty I think it takes like six months to heal or like three or six months but I'm like I'm not taking this thing out for like a year, at least a year because like I feel like once I take it out I'm not gonna be able to like put it back in <laughs> and the same thing's gonna happen all over again so so I'm gonna make sure that it's like completely healed before I take it out it's not closed all the way it's just that I can't seem to get it closed all the way so I'm just gonna have to work with this so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye